when you open Excel, you should get something that looks like this. It says book one and it's sheet one. So this is your first spreadsheet and obviously you can do whatever you want in it. But let's see now if we've now created our spreadsheet, we want to now create a new one. So what you can do here is if I go to the file button, you'll see there's an option here called new. When I click on new, I get a few options but the most common one will be blank workbook and when I click on it, notice it's blank and now it's called book two. And you'll see here the, the way I've set it up, I can see that I've got two workbooks open. When you're working like this, my suggestion is immediately save it as whatever you want it to be. And this I can do by going to the file. Now in this case, because we haven't named it yet, I can either use save or save as. I'm going to use save as. And what it now wants to know is where must it go. So depending on your version, in this case I'm going to say browse. And you'll see I've got my entire computer open to me. And maybe I'm going to go to documents and down here courses I'm going to double click and you can see I can track it down right to where the current file is stored but I'm going to say example file and when I say save that is now saved and ready to go and you'll see it's now called example file I can now work on it so we can put a bit of information in. If I leave it now, so if I close this spreadsheet like this, or over here I can use close. Either way, because Excel has noticed that I've done something, it'll say, do you want to save the changes? You obviously need to decide whether you do or don't. In this case, I'm going to say yes, I want to save it. And now you'll see we're now looking at book one again, the one we were messing around with first. But we've now saved our example file and it's waiting for us to be opened. If we come back the next day and now we want to continue working on a file we were working on, we need to open it. So you'll see I've got a file and I'll say open. And you'll see I've got a couple of options. So depending on your version of Excel, you'll see it tells us what we've recently been working on. So there's the example file we just saved and there's our beginner course file. So you could have, you can click on one of those or you can click on browse and when you click on browse, it then gives you the option to go find that file. Now, because we just saved it, it's already thinking that it's in here, but obviously we can look around until we find the one we want. So there's the file we just created. If I click on it and say open, you'll see it opens up and there's my information. Another way to open it is to push control and the O for open and it'll take you directly to the screen. I'm going to say browse and this time I'm going to open up the file we're working with in the beginner course. When I say open, you'll see it opens up.